All right, so check out, what's the name of the outfitter? Marsh River Outfitters. Marsh River Outfitters. That's gonna be down there in the description. This is Brody. He's gonna take you out. If you're in anywhere near, he'll go anywhere. anywhere okay, in so Maine. he will find you anywhere in Maine. And let me tell you, he can put you on fish. It was nonstop action all day. So check him out. All right, guys, we're here with Marsh River Outfitters. We're gonna go out, we're gonna catch a whole pile of fish. Brody's got it all dialed in. I'll link down below exactly how to find it. Description, pin, comment. You guys know the drill. You guys are anywhere around Maine. He'll come find you, he said, and he'll take you out and put you on fish. So let's go. It's not a deep thing. No, they're right on the shore. You got a spinner? You don't have a spinning yeah, rod with one? Rod. I'll just put one on real quick. There we go. Oh, that one's fine. This one's on your side. That one's on my side, yeah. Are you a left hand retriever? I'm a lefty. Yeah, so is Holden. We're actually all Well, I'm opposite. actually a lefty. He's actually a lefty and fishes lefty. We got big spoon. Big spoon. spoon with a big lobster. Spoon. Watch the roof there. <laughs> lobster. The lobster. Should I lobster. take the lobster plastic off? I don't think we need that, right? That's just going to end up in the drink. Hey, Are you in anywhere? Close? Okay. Let it sit there for a bit. Tw just twitch it. Rinse your hands off in the water. I will. We got our live mackerel and see if we can hook up on some. This is the best kind of spot right here. You get something to catch it. Wait, what are we trying to catch here? Striper. Punch it right in there. Just one on it? Right, no. Yeah, yeah, oh. for, for catching a striper. T tuck oh, yeah, yeah. tuck it in as close to the rocks, Holden, as you can. Right in the right in the rocks. Hey, right so up. We moved, right yeah. up into the rocks. We moved over to this like coastline thing. What are we trying to catch here? Striper. Striper. Yeah. We got mackerels on the line. Yep. And we're gonna we're gonna get a striper. Punch it in right right to the rocks as much as, as tight as you can get into the there? rocks. Yeah. There. Smash it on the rocks. Alright. Don't get snagged though. Right in there. That's it. Oh, no, that's good. Because okay. you're making it seem like there's an injured fish out there. Yeah, yeah. So if a striper sees it, they're going to come and grab it. Okay. Oh, that, was, that was a bad cast. Are we more likely to catch the bites closer to the rock than uh, further? Yeah, usually. Okay. Yeah, It's not snack time, by the way. Were oh, you feeling seasick? Yeah. Actually? Dude, we're rocking like crazy. Uh, it's not seasick. There's so much weeds. You stay <laughs> away from that. Try. No. <laughs> Bottom four. Yeah, I bet. No. Get, get, oh. <laughs> Jeez. I have to hook more close to the head. Yeah, so do I. That's what I do for ice fishing. Yeah, most fish eat fish head first. That's what I thought. You on? No way. A rod tip up, rod tip up, 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 up. Holden's on up, 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 up. Loosen the drag a little touch. Touch more. Okay. Let, wait, hold up. Hold your rod up. Hold your rod up. There. Okay. Rod tip up. My camera. Yeah. Nice. Rod up. Rod up. Rod up. It's too light. It's not even. Get it's your hand here. Get your hand here. You're good. Don't fight against the drag. No. Yeah, that's really right. good. Keep going. You're in there. Okay, ease up, ease up. Just control it. Rod tip up, rod tip up, rod tip up. Get right there. Hold it, control it. Reel up a touch, reel up a touch. Good. Now walk it in with yeah. your arms. There you go. Yeah. Nice work. Wow. I was fishing you guys. Jeepers. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good picture, buddy. Oh, you like in the ocean now? Yeah, I like this place. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Let go at the end. 
There you go. Much better. There, you got to get one now. You're right in the school. You're right in the school. Keep going. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, these are good. That is a nice one. Yeah, I got one. Oh, and I lost it. Look at that. That's, oh, a, that's a trophy. Oh, why Look at the size of that guy. You got a big one on? Holden's got a big one on. It, look at that thing. Or a good piece of weed. That is tiny. What you got on? Weeds or weeds or fish? I think they might have just all caught up. Oh. Ripped off. <laughs> all right. What did, he, what did he do there? He dumped the. The chum in the water. That's what it's called, chum, right? Yeah. Dump the dump the chum right, in the water. Here, so then the fish are like, I oh, smell that? chum, and then they go over to it, and then we catch them. This is on the wrong side. <laughs> that one. That you one changed you over. Change. That one you gotta have to get used to. You got a fish? Is Wait, it bouncing? That's the right side for you. Is it bouncing? Uh, keep just keep going. Now that you're already, you're already committed. I think, I already I I think you got. That's just it. the weight now. You're committed to it. You got to find out. <laughs> There's no fish. Why are you reeling that up? <laughs> I I there was a fish. Doing, Drop man. it. Yeah. Okay. You got hit, and then yeah. yeah. You let it go smooth and fast. Just make sure you keep your finger on it, so as it goes, it doesn't overspool. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's just the remnants, eh? Squid. Heads and. Heads and things? Lips and buttholes. <laughs> the hot dogs. The hot dog of the sea. If, if it's a good bite, it'll... It looks like a... Ah, ah. Real! I'm trying. Real! Real! <laughs> it's 75 feet. It's going to take forever. It's not going to take that long. No. Oh, I do have some. Oh, I have a bunch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Huge mackerel. Giant mackerel. What? All the things. Wow. That's how. That, that, <laughs> I gotta picture that. Those are them fast. We have got the biggest mackerels. We just keep catching them here. <laughs> That's unreal. What? Those are good eating. Oh, you can nice. keat those? What is that? Oh, you touch oh. it. Here, bring it over here. Bring it, bring it around. Yeah, bring it, bring it. See? Weird. Hey, see, Brody? Weird looking fish. What is that? Sculpin. It's a sculpin and it's puffing up. Oh, is it toxic? No. Then why does it puff? Look at that. It a little oh, prehistoric. Something that tries to take it in. It's like something you see on Jurassic Park. You know? Yeah. Nice. Are we keeping that? Yeah. Yeah. We eat that. Watch that. Watch that rod. This way. Turn this way. Turn this other way. This way. Is a thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah. There's something there. Okay. Got a There's something on. there. Oh. oh! What is it? Is that Pollock? A little Pollock. Those are pretty tasty. And that's the one I was telling you that when you cut into them, yeah. they smell bad. Really? They, do. they stink. If you're fighting it, that is. I got no reference. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell. There is something there. It's moving the line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is it? It's not mackerel, is it? Oh, yeah. it's a whole stringer of them. Uh, yeah. Fat mackerel. Wow. Oh, and you got another one of those guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost oh, one. Oh. That one. Uh, there we go. We keeping these. Uh... Sure. Oops, that came off. Keep it off. These are they, are they hard to hold on to? I don't know. I haven't really done it. Yeah, just knuckle on to it. You're placing and grabbing the mouth too. Little... Uh, I don't know. How about the teeth in these things? Open. They got teeth. They got teeth. Yeah. yeah. So they spiky somewhere? I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, hang you on. Yeah. Oh, it, they are spiky. Yeah, that's fish. This is a strange looking creature. This is this one you can eat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, back to the mackerel. Must be a one on there. <laughs> We're dialed in. Oh, and I just, just, <laughs> it just squirted right out. My yeah, recording's yeah. still holding? Kind of. Um, I put a piece in just because when I go back every huh? so often, it. Oh, you're reeling too slow, that's what you get. Sat there and fuck that. No, it wasn't. Something a little bit bigger here, maybe. 
right. Yep. Those are out of season right now. Give it 15 minutes and then see how you feel. Oh, I know you do, but you're not going to get out of it. So go 15 minutes and see if you can do it. Set your set the timer on your watch. Do 15 minutes. I have had seasickness before. Oh, another one on. Here, Colin, come grab the rod. Come on, come on, get on. This is a heavy fish. Go on, Holden. Go, go, quick, 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 quick. Bring him up. You got a good fish there. I'm recording for you. Get it over here. Over there. Reel him up, Mullen. Let's go. Maybe you want to take this one? Yeah. 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 You got the lucky touch anyway, so the last time we gave you the rod for a second. Hold this on again. What do you got? Oh, that's why. Nice <laughs> A little stick. I'll, I'll for you. Any advice? Get him going again? It's nothing you can nail. No. Once you get it, it's like. Yeah. Beautiful striper. <laughs> I actually think I got one on here. I can't like, and then when people are like, yeah! I was and then, yeah, another one of those. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at the colors on that one. Yeah, that's cool. We're going to try to lip them. See what happens. You want to see this one? Colors on that one, huh? Yeah. That's pretty wild. I don't know if I can get my hook out straight away, but did I get you? Look at that guy. Oh, nice. It's a fun looking guy, eh? I want one of those. Here, here. I got a guy to talk to it. No, oh, it's yours. I don't want it. I can't. I got to catch my own. You're going to get a okay. guy to talk to this guy for me? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe we're checking. Huh? Oh, I oh, just lost them. Oh, you lost them? <laughs> right there. I want one from a gulp, Come on. On to something good? I, I don't know. Feels a little heavier. Might be something good. Cunner. Oh, some, oh, something different anyway. A cunner. What's that? Knocking out the species game. Looks like a little, look a little smallmouth bass. Those are good eating. Yeah, those are good yeah. I'm not gonna stick my finger in there, am I? No, he's got. No. Oh, he's got razors in there, <laughs> and spikes. It does look like a like a smallie. Yeah, he's got spikes everywhere. Oh, he doesn't like me touching them either. Look at the eyeballs on there. I look think at he, the teeth. I think he can't. Yeah, I know. I'm the looking teeth at the is teeth. A special and... feature of a cunner. <laughs> is there a size limit on cunner? No. Oh, that's uh. What I don't even know what you're up to now. Like five, six. Yeah, species? Yeah, I, I still I still have a striper. Yeah, still, yeah, but we're not out here. <laughs> no. The striper's not out here, but no, yeah. No, but not yet from yeah. the trip, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. Neat. Put them in the ice box. Yep, you got them. It was an awesome day out on the water. We snagged a whole bunch of fish. We probably named like every species, except for I didn't get a striper. Holden got a striper. Um, what were we missing? Were we missing anything? Shark. We didn't catch shark. So that's still on the list. Blue tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Tuna, what else? Shark. Anything blue, else? Bluefish. We were hoping to catch a bluefish. So you can get all those, right? We can get all those, yeah. All right. So check out what's the name of the outfitter? Marsh River Outfitters. Marsh River Outfitters. That's going to be down there in the description. This is Brody. Am I gonna get my feet wet, you think? I don't think so, if you go right to the front. Okay. Oh, there's a couple big rocks here that we could probably get around. Back and then in again? Yeah, if we go actually over here, it's probably easier. What if we went up against it sideways? Yeah, you can step on that and fall right in. Is it pretty slippery? Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. You good? I'll set up. Push it 
they'll, they'll quite quick cooking by the time you get back anyway maybe oh, okay so more or less take an hour to try to catch some mackerel then sure we're, we're all right with that all right you're good yeah all right i'll shove you out i got my treasure chest i think i'm good yeah right <laughs> All right, well, we're fully loaded here, decked out to the nines. Zach's gonna go out and head, head do some fishing, and uh, I'm gonna head up on shore here. Cook up our, our spoils. We got a ton of grub in here, and I'm gonna do a bit of a mukbang. Maybe Zach will come back with a striper. That would be great to add. We got a whole variety of stuff in here. So let's find a good place where we won't get swamped with the tide and get cooking. I think we'll head uh, probably up there, that looks good. Grab myself a stick, just in case I want to do a spit roast of some sort. I got lots of good stuff in here. We're super low tide right now, but that doesn't mean we're safe. And uh, especially when you're cooking with fire, you definitely won't gotta get swamped with water. So I figure we'll head up. Uh, tides are all new to me. I guess they're running a 12 hour cycle, something like that. You guys can correct me down in the comments. But uh, Zach was saying, just go up high enough. You figure, you know, you're gonna be definitely above high tide, even though we're only be maybe out here for a couple of hours. We don't want that to be a factor. So we'll just judge by what's wet and what's not wet. Should be able to figure that out. So it's cool to see all this stuff here. We got some nice seaweed to cook in, cook with or on, maybe do a steam. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's such a beautiful day out here. Such a beautiful day. Man, we have lucked out with the weather here. We had a couple rainy days, but now it's nice and calm. And that uh, sun is blazing. 
Gotta be careful while these rocks are super slippery. But you can see this is this would be a spot that's definitely wet and high tide. See how slippery it is. And we're in a little protected cove, a protected bay here. Pretty cool. I think I found a safe spot, but it's really, really hard to tell. It might, it might sink underwater in a few hours, but hopefully by then we're done cooking. And I gotta get a fire going and a good bed of coals because ugh, primitive cooking really doesn't work unless you burn down. I have something in mind here that I think should work. Boy, it's hot out here. Nice change of weather. I do see some birch bark up on shore, which is a savior for me. Hopefully I can get up out of the ocean bottom here. Should be able to. Some birch bark right, or birch right here. There's some bark on it. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. It'll have to do. If I get up a little higher, I might find some drier stuff. It's been raining for the last few days, so... Nothing really is dry anymore. There's a birch bark here, but... It's thicker stuff.
now that we got the fire going, I'm gonna find some seaweed without hurting myself, but I didn't have to go further than this. There's uh, some here, it's not the greatest seaweed, but this is also telling me that I might not be low enough for high tide because these are definitely gonna be underwater at high tide. But I don't think high tide happens till like eight o'clock tonight, but I could be wrong. So this is this thing will definitely be underwater by then. Um, if all goes well, we'll be have our bellies full by then. And uh, out of here. Oh, this stuff's kind of attached to the rock a little bit. It comes off. Oh, the fire's going good, and I think we got a good collection of seaweed. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do it, but uh, maybe I'll add some rocks when it burns down a little bit. I did another primitive cook, kind of similar, and I found that the, um, the coals, once you put the seaweed on it, it actually tends to kind of sort of cool off a little quicker than you would like, and so, may not provide enough heat um, for the clam or for the mussels I should say so I think the fish will cook pretty fast but definitely don't want to undercook anything so I've got a good collection here of seaweed I don't like that it's in the Sun right now but it should be fine if I have to re-wet it I can always run back down and re-wet it but uh, this has got to burn down the coals it shouldn't take too long because we got a nice gust of wind blowing here should burn down. I want to make sure that I keep stacking it because anything down below that's not on top won't completely combust. And then after that, we should be able to uh, throw our spoils on there. And we have a lot of spoils. I've kind of ran out of number of species that we have in here right now. But we got pretty much everything the sea provides except for a couple of things. I'll go through the inventory once I start cooking. It's always interesting to see what you can get out of every one area, but uh, been pretty fruitful, good trip, and uh, reward myself with a mukbang. Well, you guys are gonna have to 100% help me out with the species game here. I definitely know a few of them, but I don't know all of them. So we got our treasure chest here, bidding for ocean. You guys know what that is? That's a lobster. Only one we managed to catch that was legal. And you guys probably know what this is. Some kind of crab. I guess there's some other different kinds of crabs. Um, some you want, some you don't. We got some little ones too. What else we got? Oh, we got a couple of handful of the handful of these. I know what these are. You guys know what those are? Those are the mussels. We got a nice bag of mussels. 
digging around in here. That is food and bait. That is a mackerel. A good sized one too. There's a, a little mackerel. And this kind of lost a little bit of its color along the travels. I think this is a red fish, but you guys remind me. Is that the red fish? And then this guy is a little bit worse for the wear as well. I believe that's a sculpin, or some kind of sculpin. Um, this guy here, at this point in my adventure, I kind of forget what it is. Um, I think it's a bee one, a bee, bee fish, bee, 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 I don't know. You guys drop that down below. That's one of the deep water ones. Kind of feels like a trout. It's got no spines or anything. Is there maybe one more? Maybe one more. There's the other kind of sculpin like thing. Looks like a little beast. I'm not really sure what that guy is. I think it's a sculpin. And I've got a big fish in here. Oh. We did have a whole bunch of bait. Zach was asking for some bait. We got a bunch of little mackerel in there. And then we got the uh, giant cusk. I don't know if I'm gonna cook that today because that's altogether too much food to eat. So he's gonna have to wait till later. And I got a bunch of other little crabs I'll share with my family. I can't eat all this, that's for darn sure. Most of the stuff, it can go in whole. We don't have to process or clean it. But uh, these guys here, we're going to gut them. Got a weird digestive system. It's way at the front, which is kind of curious. I right. get that. Get the guts out of there, hopefully. Just a little slit. And uh, we'll go down to the water and do the rest of it. Crabs and whatnot will surely love eating the guts. Mackerel, the same thing. There's a fancy way to clean the mackerel, but I don't think I will partake today. Probably see what we end up with when we start steaming these guys. See if there's any difference in taste and flavor and whatnot. This guy's pretty toothy. And he's got some kind of air bladder or whatnot in there. Get all that gooey stuff out. And then the lobster, well, he just likes to hang on to whatever he can grab. Let go, buddy. Ouch! You got me. All right, we're gonna go back in there. Hang out there for a second. There we go. Hopefully Zach will be back to enjoy some of this foods, because there's a lot of it. All right, I'm gonna rinse these guys off and try to grab the front where it connects, the gill plate connects, because we're not going to eat the gill plates. I'm trying to pull. This one's super tough, it's sculpin. Wow. I don't know if that's going to come apart. There we go. Oh. Yeah, we don't need the front. Fins are... Uh, they're just in the way. See how the macro goes. Not too bad. I'm trying to transfer the skills over from trout. Seems to be working okay. Just gotta watch where the spines are because these guys got all sorts of defenses. That tide's really coming in. It's getting me a little nervous, if I'm being honest. Whoa! Whoa! We got another. Another 20 or 30 feet or so. As long as the clams cook, I'm okay. Make these guys like sushi. All right, let's get out of here before we get wet. All right. Well, it's kind of the moment of truth. We really know what's gonna happen here, but hopefully good things. This will be the the moment of truth. We'll see if we start steaming right away. See if we've got it hot enough. There we 
I got some steam going here, mostly at the end. So we're gonna throw. Ooh, mukbang. Oh well, crab and uh, the fish. We don't want anything touching the rock here because it might burn. Here we go. Some of our mussels here. So, oh yeah, she's smoking real good. And then uh, put a little bit of seaweed on top just to cover, help it steam. And then however long it takes to cook fish, we don't know. The heat's gonna be a little bit uneven, but that should be okay. Maybe we'll add a little bit more steam at the back there. Ooh, that is hot. Wowzers. Whew. Adding more on top will just uh, help insulate at this point. All things we gathered here in Maine from the ocean. And all on my own merits, along with uh, Zach Fowler, Fowler's Maker Mischief. You guys check him out too. Without him, I wouldn't be here. It's a pretty good indication when it's cooked when that seaweed turns green because that to me means that the seaweed's cooked. Oh yeah, that's super duper hot. Not as hot near the bottom here. And I did have a few fish down there so I'm a little concerned with the fish at the bottom but you know what, I could always start eating the stuff at the top and work my way down. The trick or maybe the art, let's say, of primitive cooking is when something's cooking, you don't always know if it's finished. <laughs> so you're always kind of taking a risk of when you want to take it off. But the benefit is if you're eating it around where you're cooking, if it's not cooked, just throw it back on. That's done. All you gotta do is pull on the antenna, and that's your cue. Finished. Well, it looks like Zach showed up just on time. Actually, I called him in. I couldn't eat without him. Thought it would uh, only be fair since he made a really delicious meal for me yesterday. Actually, yesterday, my timeline. You might watch it on a different timeline, but um, I made like a fish wrap out of the striper and it was delicious. I don't think I can match that, but we'll see if it's passable as far as like a primitive kind of thing goes. I think it'll work. Any luck? Wadobo? I put Wadobo on there. That's the only thing that's gonna... I did, I just in case I had actually, I have an emergency <laughs> Wadobo on the boat. Okay. I was gonna say, it's probably the only thing that's gonna save it, but who knows? Wait, what are we eating? Oh, it's just mukbang. Oh, it's yeah? everything. A little bit of everything? A little bit of everything that the sea has to offer. That we've caught so far. Yeah. <laughs> Any luck out there? No. No. Close, but uh... Well, bait. Uh, can you give me a little pull? Yeah, of course. So, uh, that way I can...
You don't want to wade in here? I got ankle <laughs> mud boots on. So okay. We're on the we're on the clock. I never t uh, tide is something I don't have to worry about for where I'm from. It's always just the water. There's a lot of water. Yeah, there's no tide there. <laughs> no. Huh? If anything, it just gets lower and lower most of the time, so you don't have to worry about it at all. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. There, it's not going anywhere. Well, I'm sure you guys know Zach Fowler. If you don't, he is a gourmet cook. I am a getter done primitive, and let's see what happens. <laughs> so. I can't promise there are no stones in there. I probably should have spent a little bit more time picking, washing, and doing all that stuff with the seaweed, but we'll, we'll chew carefully. I'll, I'll, I, think we, I think we're okay. As long as it's cooked, I'm good. Your first impressions there, Zach. Oh yeah? What do you think? It looks pretty cool. <laughs> looks really good. It's passable on the visual. Visibly attractive. <laughs> You're expecting worse? You're no, no, sure? I don't know what I was expecting. Right. <laughs> Wasn't sure what we we're gonna get into. The clam's open, so I'm happy with that. Muscles. Yeah, or yeah, muscles. The muscles. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Mr. Lobster here, his antennas fell off a while ago, but I just kind of kept them here just to keep them warm, just to make sure. Yeah. I figure safer than sorry. Did you cook sorry. it all open, or you buried them in seaweed? Yeah, so I buried it and I put rocks on oh, top. Oh, right on. Yeah. So, and I think the fish meat, like it's real soft. Yeah. So I think that's okay. We need some chopsticks. Yeah, we need something. Mm. I mean, it's finger food right now. Sneak a bit of butter in there, and it's so hot out here in my pack, it's like almost dippable. <laughs> that may be the only thing that saves it. Nice little dish. Soak it in. There we go. All right, what do you want to try first, Zach? Uh, whatever's. What do you, you want, want to risk? What do you lobster. want to risk? So, I'm, so the I'm only... all about the lobster because we haven't caught a lobster. I'm like, that's all, all right. I can think about is lobster, lobster. Oh no! The butter was is oh, so melty it fell it off just of the slooped off. It just I tried to put it up where we could both get at it. That's okay. A little seaweed in our butter, and that's no big deal. Well, you know what? Because you're gonna be into it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so the only caveat I should say is um, there might be. I didn't. I don't know if I did a really good job on the seaweed. It might be. It might be rocks. I know it's the worst. What do you mean? Well, you know. It, you never know. Oh, you got like gravel into the. Well, I don't think I. Oh, I, do I don't it on care. Purpose. Whatever. I'm just, you know. You don't want to get a big I, I'm used to eating all, all, everything I eat with like, I got, you know, like daintily yeah. with the seafood. Yeah, I think you got it. Okay, so right. you show me what to do with this bad boy right. here, I forget. I'll just break the claws off and use uh, like full caveman here, we'll just use rocks and smash things, right? Okay. I think. I like, think that's appropriate. I'm looking forward to uh, the guts. Oh yeah. That was my favorite part. Yeah, you liked that before? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Hopefully it's all cooked through. Yep, it's good to me. It's good, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I am so hungry. Me too. I caught a bunch of mackerel out there, so we got bait, so we can drive that striper again. Good. This is oh. gonna, This is a legit mukbang, right? Oh, that's so good. You call it a mukbang because you get full of muck? Is that what it means? I don't think so, but you know what? What's the actual definition of a mukbang? I'm not even sure. I think it's just to eat a lot of food. Oh really? You just get in there and like this is this is the definition of a ocean mukbang, I would say. Mm. How's that? That's good. Yeah. You know what? Should put adobo right in the butter. Oh, there you go. And just then skip a step. A little bit. A little bit underdone. It's a little al. No, it's it's just al dente. Okay. I would say <laughs> not not like in bad or anything like that, but definitely al dente. Give a little buttery adobo dip. Breakfast of champions here. Mmm. Mm. Worth all the trouble. There's some smoky flavor to it too. It should be a That's little good. Bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I miss how good lobster is. But that's a really, really good. I know. I, I'm used to eating it a whole bunch this year, and I barely mm -hmm. got the traps in just recently. And all right, so we break the tail off. Yep. And pull the tail out, and then we're gonna break the rear fins. Yep. Push the meat out. Oh, close the camera. Ow! It's very pokey. There we go. Sometimes you have to break that to get it out. There we go. Big old hunk of meat. There you go. Big slurpy mess. Wow, that's so good. Lovely. 
I'm gonna try the fish next. The hot. <laughs> What's the one of those sculpting things? Yeah. I'm gonna bring that up and put that on the, the rock. And then another chunk of that right there. Ooh. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, what happened? Wow, wow. Seaweed's burning and sticking to my fingers. Oh, that's what we should have done is open the mussels up and you can put the butter in there and they're little butter dishes. Mm. Like let it melt into the hot tamale, hot. Oh, there's your redfish. Yep. We need that guy out there. Oh, can we get it out of here? Oh, hot, hot, hot. oh yeah. Oh, he's coming ready. apart. Right, ready, ready. He's coming apart at the seams. Coming apart at the seams. Big mackerel. I don't know. That's the big mackerel. Oh, that's gonna be good. I'm losing track of everything. Yeah. There's a little bit. Of no, you can see there. the mackerel skin on it. See that? Oh, yeah. Yep. That nice piece of mackerel. Yep. Grab over there. Well, I think you can see how people would have eaten like this because like it's still steaming, right? You keep your food warm and if you had kids on the beach here, you could just let them run around when they came hungry, they could come back to the fire and grab some stuff. I think this is the sculpting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pick the little bones. Yeah, pick around the bones. Um, that just tastes like fish. I, I assume everything's gonna taste more or less. Like fish? Like fish. I mean, is. plus because of how it's cooked, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I get the mackerel. Oh, that's hot. So the mackerel hot. is? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how well it well, cooked. The mackerel's a little fishier. Yeah. But that's because the skin's on there. Oh, yeah. I think the skin always makes it kind of oily or. And I kind of, when I did it the other day, I fried the ever loving daylights out of it, right? So it's like it was a fried mackerel and it has right. no flavor but the fried fishy. Yeah, I mean, they taste fine. Mm hmm. It's cooked. Well, I was worried, but now I'm relieved. I think I did Why all right. Worried? I don't know, because whenever you do something primitively for the first time, mm. whether you get the timing right on it or you undercook everything, or you know, mm. could be rocks in there. I haven't come across any stones yet. So I'm impressed by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the fish I think is edible and all the same, the redfish, um, the mackerel, what was the other one? Was it a pollock or no? Uh, yeah, there's the um pollock uh -huh. mackerel sculpin um redfish and they all they're all edible they're all, all the of them i think i like the redfish the best which one's this this one's pretty good that's the mackerel no oh, it's just the mackerel it's so good right well that one tastes not as fishy because i didn't get the skin in there i think mm. i like the redfish the best did you get a good bite of this redfish like here really it's like, the yeah. best oh yeah yeah Little bones in there though. Um, Maybe if, if you uh, it, if you get it, they they chew up pretty easily. Yeah, there's definitely spinier. Mm -hmm. Kind of some random spines in there. The redfish is just milder. Mhm. Mm it's a milder fish. Yeah, it just tastes really good. If we do it good, you end up with like a lollipop on the end of it, a stick of the claw. See that? Nice. Get it off. We got. Then we just got to get this piece off right here, and you got yourself the pieces off of it like that and now it's a little lollipop dip it in the rub it on the adobo butter here and we grab the other one real quick oh, yep there yeah, you go. We can we got two you. of them mm. cheers there we go mm. oh it melts in your mouth I could eat this all day and you just sit here and keep eating. I kind of have to to get enough calories almost. <laughs> yeah. This is all you're eating. Like... <laughs> now we got the uh, the guts. It's like seaweed and mash and see the green in there. I don't know if maybe you can see that. You can probably see that. It's uh, it's good actually. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This one's particularly smoky for some reason, but it's good. Yeah, it's kind of good. I don't know what, how that ended up like that, but. Oh, it's so powerful. It's like fatty and. It's good. Here's the rest of it in the front thorax. Huh. Get your tongue in there. 
Yummy. That was super filling. If you guys enjoyed that episode, join, whatever, subscribe. I don't really care. I'm out here having fun. Check out Zach at Fowler's Maker in Mischief. And you can also check out his new channel, Catch and Cook Kitchen. See ya.